Hello, my name is Salvatore Corona, Solution Executive Environmental with Bentley Systems. I'm going to go over the uh, interoperability between GINT and GeoWeb Publisher. This is the introduction uh, presentation. And the audience we're trying to reach here is anyone that wants to share subsurface information to a wider audience through web-based GIS. And our focus is sharing and viewing subsurface data in different ways and collaborative interaction between stakeholders. So in this first <clears throat> of four short presentations, we're going to go over a general overview of the concepts and benefits. And in the second presentation, uh, we're going to look at GINT data, the subsurface information uh, displayed in GeoWeb Publisher. And then we're going to look at how to configure GINT uh, to uh, interact with GeoWeb Publisher. And finally, how uh, to configure GeoWeb Publisher. So what we're going to be doing is referencing subsurface uh, data in GINT that's stored in a SQL Server database. Uh, this is a multiple project uh, database. And we're going to be displaying it in GeoWeb Publisher, which is a web-based GIS. As a really a side note, um, the database and the GIS server are both located in the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, EC2. That is not required. What we want to show you it can be done, and uh, the behavior is very, very good. Uh, and we're going to be viewing this demonstration uh, on a uh, internet browser on my uh, computer, not within the web. So why do we want to connect these two, you know, the subsurface data and the web-based GIS? So geotech and geoenvironmental engineers, geologists, uh, generate the data, but others need to access it. Uh, first and foremost, other geotechnical engineers and geoenvironmental engineers for analysis and design purposes, uh, but also structural engineers, road designers, basically anyone that deals with a civil product project that sits on the ground, which is just about everyone, needs to understand the subsurface conditions. So data can be shared through reports, and that's very typically what's done. Uh, to all the different stakeholders. Uh, and the reports could be fully completed um, final reports that you give to a client, uh, or intermediate Excel files, or CAD drawings, or, or whatever. Um, and that certainly has to be done, especially when submitting your final uh, reports. But for uh, the case of uh, during the project, when the project's being designed and the investigation's going on, you have a dynamic situation, and just submission of Excel files or reports um, does not work very well. Uh, first of all, it requires a request and submission process. You've got to ask for the data, or the data's got to be pushed out in pieces to different people. And then you've got problems with versioning. Uh, do you have the most recent uh, data? And the data is generally not viewed with other relevant project information using this approach. And very importantly, the control of the data leaves the domain specialists, people that um, are generating the information. So by dynamic linking the subsurface data to a web-based uh, GIS, uh, these issues are resolved. It creates a uh, collaborative environment and improves decision-making across multiple disciplines and requires no training to interface with multiple data sources. And it provides a, so a collaborative environment. You're superimposing very different but related data in the same view. And you're sharing information among all the stakeholders. And finally, you've got a graphical GIS-based revision workflow, uh, markups. And these are, this is a general tool that can be shared. And you can share these markups in a number of Bentley products, uh, including MicroStation Navigator and a number of others. And the data is instantly available to anyone that needs it anywhere in the world at any time. You don't have this process of pushing information out 
to people and they're collecting it or uh, at various times, or a stakeholder has to ask for the information. The information is always available at any time, anywhere. And you're always working with the most recent data. As the people that hold the data, the subsurface information, update their database and reports, that's instantly reflected uh, in the GIS. And you're looking at the subsurface data in relation to the project infrastructure and natural features, not just as a standalone report. And control of the data stays with the domain specialists. The geotech engineers and geoenvironmental engineers and geologists uh, would have read-write access to that information, but everyone else would have read-only. Right. So um, there are a number of references uh, that I would uh, refer you to. Uh, first, of course, is uh, the main Bentley website, uh, and then the Gint uh, website on the Bentley site, and then the GeoWeb Publisher site. Uh, just to go there quickly, uh, the Bentley site has a lot of information. If you've never been up here, I certainly recommend it. Uh, the Gint site uh, has a tremendous amount of content. In terms of uh, there are other e seminars that are available. Uh, there are lots of pre made reports. There's a forum. Um, uh, there's wikis with lots and lots of different content, uh, uh, industry articles, etc. And then the uh, GeoWeb Publisher website. And again, they have the same kind of thing that GIN has tremendous amount of uh, content um, and other e seminars, courses. They have their own community site. So thank you. Uh, now I invite you to look at um, the other uh, presentations.